The Parsha begins with the incredible mitzvah of Bikurim. It's a mitzvah that it's hard for us to imagine uh, just what a sense it must have given when a farmer brings his first fruits, the fruits that he invested so much sweat and tears in, and he, the, the joy that the farmer must have in seeing those first fruits uh, ripen. And then the, the farmer brings his fruits to Shalayim, the, mitzv- the dual mitzvahs of Havas Bikurim and Mikur Bikurim, and when he's in Yushalayim, he comes and expresses his Shevach Odot HaKadosh not only for these fruits, but for the entire process of bringing all of Klai Yisrael from Mitzrayim to Eretz Yisrael, giving us Eretz Yisrael as a whole, giving this farmer his piece of land in particular. It's an incredibly moving experience for sure, and something that we can only hope to, uh, to, to see with our own eyes, Be'ez Hashem, one day. The Parsha of Mikra Bikum ends, What is this Simcha that the Parsha is describing? Why is it that the Torah says that after one has done Havas Bikurim and Mikra Bikurim, he brought his Bikurim to the base of Mikdash, he recited the Parsha of Arami of Eravi, at the end of that, the Torah says, then you'll be happy in all, with all the good that Arkash Baruch has given you. We don't find by most mitzvot, surely there are a few mitzvot where the Torah says to be happy, some you know, of course, but most mitzvot, it doesn't say, blow the shofar and then you'll be very happy. It doesn't say, give tzedakah and then you'll be very happy. What is unique about this mitzvah, such that the Torah says, upon doing the mitzvot of Havas Bikurim and Mikra Bikurim, that will give us happiness. What is the great simcha of Bikurim? We find, uh, in, among others, the Maharal and Revolba and Ali Shur, they define simcha not as uh, joy or pleasure, but rather more in a sense of fulfillment or even harmony. The shlemus a person feels uh, in certain circumstances. How so? How does Mikra Bikurim lead to that shlemus, that harmony, that fulfillment? When you have a person who invests a lot in a business, he invests in the infrastructure, he invests in the employees, he invests in the, 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 the product itself, and he sees the fruits of his labors coming to fruition, he sees the, 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 all the effort is beginning to pay off. A person has a tremendous pleasure in seeing how things came together, and then if he turns a profit, he has a tremendous pleasure in making money. Not only that he has the money, but that his toil, his toil has led to, uh, to this product, to this, to this money, to this attainment, this achievement. That pleasure will last a person a certain amount of time. However, Akash Baruch made us that we're not only material beings that have experienced material pleasure, that experience the joy of our hard work paying off, of having money, of making money, we are spiritual beings as well. Kharaj Baruch Hu created us with a neshama. And that neshama, even when a person makes a lot of money, and even when a person invests a lot and sees how his, how his labor pays off, the neshama is starved. The neshama doesn't feel pleasure from such, from such an experience. And therefore, the, a person eventually will be left with a gaping hole. A gaping hole of, where is the meaning in this? Why, wh- why am I investing all this? To what end did I make all this money? To what end did I invest all this effort? And, and, and where is it going next? What can I do with such a thing? The neshama feels starved. The sense of simcha Akash Baruch gave us is when we have a shlemus, when our guf and our neshama work in tandem and together experience the true joy of taking our achievements, taking our material achievements, our material joy, and channeling it. Uh, the farmer takes his bikurim, the literal fruits of his labors, he brings them to the Beis HaMikdash, he presents them to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, he channels that material achievement into Avodos Hashem, into a matana for the Ribbon Shal Olam, into a hakrava in the Beis HaMikdash. That gives a person a sense of simcha unparalleled by any material pleasure. Davka, when a person takes his material achievements and he brings them to the Mikdash, he's mark of them and he's mark of his very material achievement to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, that gives us the simcha, the tremendous deep satisfaction, fulfillment, and harmony 
of our guf and neshama working together. We're coming upon a season defined by many elements, but perhaps primarily, primarily, maybe surprisingly, simcha. Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, Sukkot, all of these are days and weeks, and in, in totality, a season of simcha, different types of simcha, the simcha of Rosh Hashanah, of being Mamacha Kadosh Baruch Hu, the simcha of Yom Kippur, of achieving Mechila, Slicha, Bechapara, and the simcha of Sukkot, the simcha of wrapping it all together, bringing together all of the Avon Yira of those previous days, and, and enjoying, basking in the presence of the Kadosh Baruch Hu. Ach Sameach on Sukkot. It's a season of simcha. It's a season which, primarily with Rosh Hashanah coming forward, we may at first be fully focused on our material needs, our health needs, our family's needs, our, our financial needs, and those are certainly important. The, the Torah demands of us that we seek not only to fulfill our material needs, but to have true simcha, we need to ask ourselves in this season, what do we need to fulfill our spiritual needs? What will give us true simcha? Will health alone give us simcha? Will financial stability alone give us simcha? Those are surely incredibly important. And we need, we need those things, and we need to beg HaKadosh Baruch for those things. But we also need to ask ourselves, where am I lacking in my ruchnius? Why am I not feeling simcha? Why am I not feeling a harmony between my guf and my neshama? And by Ezra Hashem, we should consider those questions and ask HaKadosh Baruch Hu not only to fulfill our material needs, but our spiritual needs as well. Ask HaKadosh Baruch Hu to give us Yat Yedishmai in the coming year to, to achieve for our neshama and to achieve a true sense of simcha so we can, Be'ez Hashem, say about ourselves, that HaKadosh Baruch Hu will give us the bracha that we'll have simcha, we'll have, we'll, we will have true joy, fulfillment, and harmony with all the brachos that He gives us. Have a wonderful Shabbos.